On this episode of Michigan Football, the vlog, we're talking about the sad, sad, sad beatdown by Penn State. Also talking about Jim Harbaugh. Should he stay or should he go? Don Brown. Gaddis. Maybe all three. Maybe just two. Maybe just one. Also, congratulations to Sarah Fuller, who became the first female to play in a football game in a Power 5 conference. Let's get to it. Okay, I don't know what's going on with our Wolverines. Our offense, our defense played tremendously horrible against Penn State. I mean, I don't know. You tell me. I, I, I'm confused. But it seems like when Kate McNamara went out and Joe Milton came in, it was the same old head hanging down non-enthusiastic, hardly didn't want to play as they did before. And then when Kay McMara came back in, it seems like they was all amped up. I don't know what that's about, but uh, we got to get it together because I seriously think we about to go 2-6. I can't I can't see us beating Maryland. The team down south want to put up 100 on us. They might put up 150 to where our defense is. We have no defense. I don't know what's going on with Don Brown. I like Don Brown, but I think it's time for him to bounce. Gaddis came in talking about uh, his speed and space. I don't see no speed, and I see a whole lot of space that our guys ain't getting in. And everybody out there was hating on Shea Patterson, and he wanted to come back, and there was the booze, the eyes. No, no, we don't want Shea Patterson to go come back. I guarantee you, if Shea Patterson would be here, we wouldn't be no 2-4 and four team right now. So, on that note, y'all need to think about what y'all was saying, because look where we're at now. I think I think Kate is the guy. I really do. I think Kate is the guy. But our offense, our our offensive line couldn't even block. You mean three or four times we couldn't gain one yard? Really? Our offensive line is getting pushed around by everybody. Yeah, I just thought about it. Michigan State didn't win the game until they played us. Penn State didn't win the game until they played us. It's like we everybody's savior. Oh, we can't win the game. Let's go to the big house and play Michigan. We'll get our first win. No, that needs to stop. I'm so disappointed. I'm so tired. If it wasn't for me making these vlogs, I wouldn't even be watching the last two games. But I got to have something to talk about. I got to see it. But I don't want to see it because I know we're going to lose. There's never been... You know, I was talking to my wife, and she told me. She said, blame it on COVID. And I told her, you know what? I, you're right. I'm going to blame it on COVID. Then I thought about it. How come a team down south, they in the same predicament we are, and they still beating people down? So I really can't blame it on COVID. I got to blame it on... Either the coaches, the players, or both. But I think Don Brown and Gaddis needs to go. I believe in Jim Harbaugh. I think he can do the job. I just hope he's not interested and he's thinking about the NFL because he just needs to write offense and defensive coordinators. So, I'm going to shut up about that because I'm very disappointed. I, I can't even talk about it no more. Um, again, congratulations to Sarah Fuller for becoming the first female in a Power 5 conference to play in a game. Congratulations to her. Kudos to her. Now I also think about doing something different. I think I'm going to have where the people out there, I'm going to give y'all some teams. Y'all going to pick the winners. Or at least who y'all think going to win. And then whoever wins out of whoever has the best picks percentage, they get a prize. How's that? I'm thinking about doing that. I want to test it first. But I'm very disappointed, as y'all can tell. So on that note, stay true, go blue, hit the like button. If y'all feel up to it, watch the Maryland game. If y'all don't, I understand. I'm out.